I think there's someone in my driveway. I'm not wearing pants. Hey guys, so for today's video, I am doing the ride or die tag. This is a challenge created by Jaclyn Hill to talk about your ride or die products, the products that you literally cannot live without. If I could never use another makeup product in the entire world, these are the ones that I would go with. I want to share this with you, and of course, this is a really interactive, fun tag. So post in the comments letting me know what your favorite products are so that we can all try new things. And you know, like, that's the meaning of life. Like, spice is the flavor of life. Or what's that quote that someone put on that Tumblr thing that one time that was, like, really inspirational? Yeah. Spice is the variety is the spice of life. Yeah. And makeup. Also, can we just stop for a second? I am a total style stealer. I saw Desi Perkins snap about this little bralette from Forever 21 and I was like, oh my god, you have to be mine. And then a couple of clicks on the interwebs, $14 and 10 days later, it was. And I have to say, this is like the cutest outfit I've ever worn, but at the same time, oh my god, bras are so uncomfortable. And I am now freshly reminded why I haven't worn a bra in an entire year. So we are going to get along with this tag, and then I am just going to rip this thing off my body. But yeah, Desi, um, stole your clothes. Sorry, not sorry. So the first ride or die product that I need to discuss is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I originally started using this when I first got really bad breakouts. It was the only thing that was able to cover my acne. This was six, seven years ago, back when makeup was like not a thing. YouTube barely existed. YouTube makeup tutorials were not even a thing. And there were maybe like, you know, 15 or 20 foundation choices in all of Sephora. Now there's hundreds. There have been ingredients in here that have contributed to my breakouts. That is true. But at the same time it doesn't flash back if you want something that looks totally flawless photo finish this is it I have gone through so many foundations and there are many that I love and it does change and of course I try new things but this this is where it's at you need to like blot some of the oil away at the end of a long day but six years and counting this baby is mine makeup forever you are my forever and ever and ever <laughs> You gotta stay hydrated, people. This second product is fairly new, but it is a ride or die for me. I have problems with concealers. Let's just be honest here. When you have acne, you have to cover texture, then your concealer needs to cover the color of the acne, then it needs to stay on either under or over foundation. It needs to match your foundation. It needs to not break you out. If you have concealer, it needs to be able to highlight, and it needs to last throughout the entire day without making you oily. You can call me high maintenance if you want, but I just say you should have standards or expectations. Until recently, I have not found that perfect concealer. I found some that have been close, but nothing that's spot on. Too Faced, you did it for me. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I have never been happier. First off, it smells like a coconut tropical vacation. It's got coconut water in it, so it's good for my skin. It works on my blemishes. My only point of improvement could be the under eye area, which is why I do have another product that I use under my eyes. But this concealer, there is nothing like it. I can use a lighter shade to highlight my entire face. This is it. It works under foundation, over foundation. I can blend it out well, but it stays on all day. Makeup on my face moves around quicker than Taylor Swift goes from boyfriend to boyfriend, okay? Okay. This stuff stays on and that is all I have ever asked for. Along with those other like 50 things that I mentioned earlier. When it does come to the under eyes, the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics is the best thing I have ever used. Under eyes are tricky. They are a delicate area of your face that needs a little bit more TLC than everywhere else. Of course there is that area that's prone to creasing, you need to make sure that you're not damaging the under eye area. You also want things to be luminous, but not sparkly, because if it's sparkly, then it just doesn't look natural. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a nice tacky consistency, and people have ranted and raved about it, and I honestly didn't buy it for the longest time, because I was like, <laughs> IT Cosmetics, like, I've never, like, heard of them. They were, like, on QVC. I was like, I don't trust your HSN marketing. Then I decided to put my dollar towards it and trust it. I have never been so happy. It has collagen, vitamins, C and K. I honestly have not reaped those benefits just because 
I have a little bit of wrinkling or a little bit of creasing, but it's really not that bad. Hopefully this is helping me prevent wrinkles in the future, who actually knows. My cosmetics I think is recently going to be in or is already in Sephora because they are just that good and I I love it. Like absolutely. There is nothing better for my under eyes. I've tried this on the rest of my face, it's not as good. But the fact that it's so tacky, it is so full coverage, so full coverage. So let's just be a little honest here, Cassandra has this problem where sometimes I go like two weeks without sleeping. It sounds fun, and it is when it's happening, but it's an actual diagnosed psychiatric disorder. And when that happens, even though I feel fine, my under eye bags tell a different story. When I'm awake for two weeks straight, my under eyes are literally the most purple thing ever. I look like I just crawled out of a grave. Hey cosmetics, you are the difference between me faking being a normal person and, you know, not being able to. When it comes to face powder, I hate and love to hold this up at the same time. This is the MAC Studio Fix and I hate to hold this up because it has those polymers in it and it's going to break you out and it's terrible for your skin and I don't even know about the whole animal testing or the eco-friendly thing of MAC, I, I don't know but there is not a powder that is more full coverage that keeps my face looking better than this. If I'm wearing a powder without a foundation or if I'm wearing this over the makeup forever, MAC Studio Fix, I love you. And if anyone has a good dupe for this, preferably one that's cruelty free, please let me know because I am always on that journey of trying to find more cruelty free products. But this, whew, MAC, I love you. And there is a reason that you've been around for so long and in my makeup kit for so long. Literally, over 10 years I've been using Blah, blah, blah. Literally, for over 10 years I've been using this product and I've never found anything that's better, so. Even if it causes breakouts, I'll, I'll look past that and I'll love you. You know, uh, uh, American Idol called. <laughs> they said they wanted their contestant back. I hate to love it, and I love to hate it. Ow. You ever have that where you almost have a sneeze, and then you're like, okay, I'm ready for you sneeze, and then you don't sneeze? The only thing worse than aggressively sneezing is almost aggressively sneezing, and then preparing yourself mentally for it, and then not sneezing. This is my all-time favorite setting spray, and here's the catch, it's not actually a setting spray. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish, Photo Finish Water Primer, but I swear to God, nothing keeps my makeup on like this, and nothing sets it the way this does. It's a water primer, but honestly, this is glue for your face. This will hold even the shittiest of foundations onto my skin, looking amazing, and then when I'm done, I spritz, mm, burpee, excuse me, I spritz this on like a setting spray, and there is nothing like it. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here and just This is the best thing since water. Yeah, yeah. I went there. Next, let's talk about some color products. I love myself some blush, and I have tried so many colors, so many textures, and so many formulas, but there is literally nothing better than Super Orgasm. Wow, that sounds awful. There is nothing better than Super Orgasm. Cassandra, you should not be using those words in that order, ever. Wow, wow, wow. Well, NARS, way to get sexual with your packaging, but um, it's true. This is their traditional color, the Orgasm Blush, that looks good on every single skin tone, and I have to say it looks freaking fantastic on my skin tone, whether I am bronzed from the summer or pale as a ghost during the winter. And it's got glitter in it. Some people may stray away from glitter. I absolutely love the glitter, and this glitter is not chunky and overwhelming. It gives a beautiful iridescence to my skin, and I've never found anything that I personally love as much as this. God! I've, you know, and I've never been comfortable saying the names of these blushes. If you look back in my videos like four years ago, I was like, I'm not going to say the name. I'm just going to hold it up and show it to you. Uh, NARS, there is nothing better than your super orgasm. I just can't with myself right now. Cassandra, this is why you're not allowed to eat sugar. <clears throat> when it comes to bronzer and highlighter, both have been found in this Lorac Pro palette. This is the Pro Contour palette. 
it has been destroyed. I wonder if you can tell which ones are my favorite. I have gone through two of these and I have repurchased them only for the sake of those two end colors. This is the most beautiful bronzer you'll ever use. It's super creamy and super blendable, like silk in your brushes and on your skin. It's just amazing, it's not too orangey. Then this highlight is everything. It is the perfect alabaster white. It's got that touch of shimmer that just makes you glow like a nebula. Absolutely worth it. My favorite hands down highlighter or contour that there is. This was so hard, so hard to pick the proper eyeshadow and I couldn't, so I just picked an eyeshadow palette. This has been destroyed. This is the Naked 2. Urban Decay, I love you. You've done it again. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are amazing. The blendability, the colors, this is just the color set for me. I love that they have like an actual black that's super pigmented so I can use it as liner. Yeah. Oh, not again! You see, that's what I'm talking about. My ride or die, half of them just fell out into my hands. And I deal with this every single time I use this palette, but you know what? It's so worth it, okay? because you know what, love is a sacrifice. And this works with or without eyeshadow primer, and then it's got a little spot for your brush right there, so it's perfect for travel. And you know me, I live half my life on a plane. Fun facts, people always have questions about this. I do live at home. I live with my mother goose and my papa. And that's why there's ugly old people furniture in the back of every video. I travel about three weeks out of every single month, so why am I gonna pay an exorbitant amount of money for an apartment or a place that I'm not even gonna live in? And also, I got a pool out there, and I got six cats and three chickens, and I do not pay as much rent as I would normally pay for the amount of living space that I have, so. So yeah, make your amends with that floral couch, because it's gonna be around for a while, as long as I can milk this deal. <laughs> wow, does that make me a terrible person? <laughs> Truth, don't love out until you have to. Save that money, kids, save it. When it comes to eye products, Benefit, you have done a dosage. This is brand new, but there is nothing better. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I loved the It Cosmetics one. I love the Lorac Pro one. There is nothing better. I love the Anastasia one, but this beats it. The way it blends out, it stays on your skin so it doesn't move around throughout the day, but when you use the spoolie, you can blend it out just perfectly. If you make a mistake, you can erase it. It's like the goof proof brow pencil, but in an even smaller package, so you can just get the little tails there and make them look perfect. Never use something this easy or beautiful with my brows. And if you haven't noticed, my eyes are different shapes, and you know, my face is kind of disproportionate in some places, and one brow is like bing, and the other one's like what? So this is like the only thing that can even them out. Thank you, Benefit. I am officially a Benny babe. My ride or die mascara, this was such a challenge because I love so many different mascaras. It's like the foundation thing. You have different favorites for depending on what you're doing or what you're wearing, but this is the they're real. I know some people don't like it. I have got super curly lashes and this is the only thing that lengthens, elongates, just blackens them up and makes them look beautiful without lashes. This is my absolute favorite. There are a lot that I love from the drugstore. There are a lot elsewhere, but this is a formula that works for me. I absolutely die for this. And they have colors, and so I don't know if it counts, but like I, I feel like I get to count the colors in this as well, even though this is the black one that I'm holding up. Benefit, I love you. Oh, and benefits from San Francisco. San Francisco, represent! This is my ride or die eyeliner. Now I normally like a little bit thicker of a liquid liner, but I'm also pretty bad with getting my wings even. I swear to God, like I'm just winging everything. My eyeliner, my life. This is the most precise liquid liner I have ever used, and it doesn't like take a long time to dry. So when I put it on, it's just like, boom, it stays. I can open my eye and it doesn't go everywhere I don't want it to. This one is the So Fine from Tarte Cosmetics. Again, it is cruelty free. I also like that it's kind of a foam tip. It's not, um, what would you call that? It's not a brush tip? Fiber tip. It's not a fiber or a hair tip, kind of like a Sharpie foam tip, but it's malleable, so it works. You can press it in. This is literally everything. Ciate Calligraphy Liner is amazing as well, but this one dries better, so tart. Thank you. Kat Von D. I'm sorry, I can't just choose one shade. Kat Von D Liquid Lipsticks, 
everything. They're vegan. The shade range is amazing. You've got blues, you've got blacks, you've got reds, you've got nudes, you've got everything you could ever ask for. And these stay on like there is no tomorrow. If you do a lot of layers of lip good lipstick, they get really gummy, or they get peely, or they get gummy, or they can peel and flake off. <coughs> Kylie Jenner. <coughs> these do not do that no matter how many layers you apply, and they stay. I swear to God, these are the only things that can last through eating, talking, and mind you, I talk a lot. And this baby holds up. This one in particular I think is Lolita or Lolita 2. It's a beautiful nude, but this is just it. Kat Von D, I love you. Fuck no. You see, even if I silence my cell phone, my computer will ring. Technology, what are you doing to me? did it. This is my all-time ride or die lip gloss. This is the MAC Cream Sheen Glass. It was limited edition. I bought two of them. It's my last one. I am not sorry. I was going to choose a just like a natural base color lip gloss, but honestly, if I wear lip gloss, it's sparkly. I wear my matte or base colors as lipsticks. Use this just as a dab in the center of my lip, and it makes an entire makeup look. No kidding. I used to collect Dazzle glasses. There's probably an old video on my channel where I have like 30 of them. I kid you not, I now have like 50. And you know what? If you do apply this product too much, it will get super stringy on your lips, which is kind of gross. And I love it. It is the most amazing. The color is beautiful. It's like a light pink with a little bit of shimmer. Um, this one is called The Art of Seduction. And what is up with all of these sexual names? Oh my God, is this like life subliminal messaging or something? Life, what are you trying to tell me? But it is called The Art of Seduction and it was limited edition and amazing. So that is what it is. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this ride or die makeup tag. I would love to hear about you and what your ride or die makeup products are. Do they include any of these? Or if you have a different answer for something, post it in the comments, tell me what it is because I wanna know. Love you guys, thank you for watching this ridiculously long video. Don't ever let me eat this much sugar again. And uh, yeah, hit me up on the Instagrams and the tweet box and the Snapchat and let's talk makeup and stuff. But I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.